Cappuccino. Firenze è la città più calda d'Italia, ieri c'erano 39-40, ma è la temperatura quella, come dire, ufficiale, poi quella che, che senti è molto di più con l'umidità e tutto, quindi caldo tremendo. Buonasera, we're melting, it's 40 degrees, it's such a hot month. Don't come to Italy in July, it's such a bad month to come to Italy. And August. And August, yeah. Uh, we are sitting here in our unfinished bathroom, we're almost there, but we have some good news. The builders are back on Il Polaio, the Hi. chicken coop. <laughs> Last time you were here, Brian, it was exactly the same, but... Exactly. <laughs> uh, they're back after two years, a two-year break. This is the reason. Do you remember this is the reason we, we called it renovating a ruin? Was It wasn't meant to be this house. It was meant to be just that little ruin of a chicken coop. All castles. Yeah, yeah, exactly everything. <laughs> so, um, but they're back and uh, it's quite exciting to see that finally <laughs> moving forward. Um, and uh, but I'm looking out here at the pool as we're as we're sitting here. I'm looking across the pool. To be fair, the builders who came they came last year and all last summer they were working on the pool. It's the same builders, so it's not like they just disappeared for two years. However, as you will know if you've watched this for a while, we are used to being patient and not uh, getting too fixated on uh, specific deadlines. No. <laughs> happiness doesn't go through yeah. that, in, in, especially in, in Italy no. or in certain areas. But before we go into the renovations, I just wanted to have a little chat to you about mental health, which is a subject that uh, we both really care a lot about. It's very important, uh, particularly because when you see these intros and you might see with the beautiful music and it's cinematic and, and yes, we are really happy, we're in love, we have a child, we're, Italy is beautiful. You know, you see me last week with Brian and we're laughing so much and there's so much joy and, and that is all true. Uh, but I, I just wanted to emphasize that we still are human and we have anxiety like normal people, we have highs and lows like normal humans. That's why we, we wanted to bring on this uh, sponsor, uh, which is BetterHelp, which offers online therapy. As you know, I never do sponsorships. I've, I've done it like about one time, I think, in 263 videos. I'm doing it this time because it's just something that is super important to people of all different ages. And I, uh, late at night, I shouldn't be on my phone, but I do. I read the emails that come in from people. Some people are lonely. Some people are just struggling to, because they're not achieving their goals. Some people might have like clinical anxiety or depression, or other people are just saying, look, I'm, I'm fine, I love my life, but I'm just, I'm missing this one thing, like maybe they're waiting to find romantic love, or they're waiting to move to Italy for, for, um, for a dream that they've, they've had for many years. And, and, I, and I just really want to stress to you that 
it's so normal to uh, have moments or whole chapters of your life where you can really feel like you're struggling. And this is something that BetterHelp has this mission to make therapy uh, more accessible, more affordable, and they can match you within a num matter of days. I know, Guido, you have a, a great psychologist in, in Florence, but... Yeah, you can be lucky, like me, or uh, if you don't feel the right connection, or you don't, I don't know, whatever, you don't have the right feeling with the therapist, that may make you want to stop therapy because you just didn't find the right therapist but you might lose faith in therapy yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is something that with better help can be um, tried to be sold because they will uh, find a new match in a few days with, with no extra charge so mm -hmm. if you don't like the therapist that you've given in the first given that has they been match matched yeah. obviously through a process of, of, of matchmaking. It's, it's <laughs> well, like, they, they, it's, you, it's, you fill out all these questions online, so it's very tailored to you, and I think that's important. Like, for example, if you look up in Florence, if you want an English speaking psychologist, there's like one or two maybe. Really. Right, so all they're booked out. Yeah, or... exactly. If you go back, you'll see there's a QA and a with Brian on my rooftop and he talks about his anxiety and you think like someone like him who's so joyful and confident and I think that's something that we definitely uh, care about, well both of us care about uh, just dispelling is this myth that happy, healthy people don't have anxiety or don't have times when they feel lonely or like they... And they don't do therapy. Yeah, don't do therapy, exactly. And Actually, happy, for me, yeah. doing therapy helped me to be happier. Yeah. So when I was stuck struggling against something, therapy helped me to overcome that problem and then be able to pursue what I was trying to do and in the end actually understand better what would take me or bring me happiness. Yeah, and I think sometimes it's even, if you think about um, maintaining your health, your mental health as well, it's not necessarily when everything's just falling apart. It can also be when you have something precious and special, like a marriage <laughs> or like a new, a new child or something in your, like, like we have. And you think, I remember you saying to me when we, we were first falling in love, you were like, oh, I want to go and see my psychologist because I want to protect this. I want to maintain your mental health so that you can be the best version of yourself. And, and that was so beautiful to me. I, I think I fell in love with you when you said, <laughs> even more when you said that, because I remember thinking, gosh, this is something that's, well, at least in Italy, it's not so common. I mean, you've, you've often yeah, said... Yeah, and, it, and it's a big mm, uh, cultural prejudice that mm. is towards therapy. And, and I believe that therapy needs to be thought as going to the mechanic. Yeah. You don't bring your car, take your car to the mechanic only when it breaks down. Mm. You take it every... Uh, now and then to check that everything is okay to in order service, not yeah. to make it go down or break. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Also our, our mental health, especially nowadays when we are so bombardati or whatever, yeah. of, of emotional stimulations, we are always on the um, on the stage of the social media and stuff like that. Yeah. Obviously our psychology and our souls and our emotions are overstressed, overstimulated. And yeah. it's perfectly normal to, to find ourselves out of the right route or, or at least not feeling balanced, not feeling comfortable. Yeah. Therefore, there's, there's no shame or there's no problem in just raising your hand, oh, I need help. Yeah, yeah. And, and this website or platform, it, it gives um, an opportunity to, to try and, and yeah. seek help in, in an easy way, because sometimes it's not easy. If one realizes that everybody has issues, from the small anxiety for something in his life to clinical uh, anxiety and stuff like that. But it's normal, we all have this, and, and, and it's normal to go and try and find help because you can't 
it, it, my therapist always said it's normal to ask for help because you can't if you're drowning drowning you can't uh, pull yourself out of the water and everybody during his life also the most healthy person in the world and, and or the, the most steady mentally steady person in the world will always find trouble Dante <laughs> our great I was listening yesterday evening when I was coming down to Dante yeah he lost his way in mm. the 13th century and he's <laughs> the biggest greatest poet in Italy and wrote something that if you haven't heard about go and look at it La Divina Commedia it's, it's, it's literally one of the most famous pieces of literature in Italy. <laughs> and it's the one that unified Italy bef 500 years before Italy was unified from a political point of view because it was the first uh, big literature, pe literature piece that was written in Italian. So mm. everybody could understand it. Because, but, because previously they had so many different languages and dialects that there wasn't... Italian as one singular language didn't exist. The, the language that was, let's say, the one that was the official important one was Latin. But no, only the, 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 the rich people and, and intellectuals knew Latin. Mm. So the normal people were speaking their own dialect. Yeah. And, and therefore, to wrap it back to the... <laughs> <laughs> I went a bit around. <laughs> the point is... Think about, in literature, how many incredible personaggi, characters, yeah. are struggling. All the stories start from a struggle. Yeah, yeah. And that struggle is mainly, it's, it's a darkness in their, in their soul. It's something difficult that they're, that they're approaching in their life and their mission. So, But I, I think, if I can add, it's also... I mean, it can be a darkness, but it could also just be uh, you wanting to articulate your thoughts and, and clarify them and, and make sense of them with someone who is objective and is listening. And, and I think with, with BetterHelp, the, 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 the great advantage is that you can do it remotely, it's online. So thank you to BetterHelp because they're giving you a discount, a 10% discount if you click the link, uh, which we'll put in the description box, it is betterhelp.com forward slash Kylie. And uh, yeah, if you, if you click that, uh, you can try it out and see if it works for you. It might, it might not, but the good thing is that it's not prohibitively expensive and you can uh, try different therapists and, until you get the right one. Yeah, what? And then trying is half of the job. Exactly. I didn't say he comincia a metà dell'opera. Yeah. So in my... No, translate that. He who starts has, 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 got, has done half of the job. Yeah, exactly. Thank you to BetterHelp for offering this discount to my community and... Uh, and sponsoring this video. And sponsoring this video. Uh, there shouldn't be this disconnect of like, oh, either someone is, is healthy and happy and confident uh, or they're uh, a mess. It's like we're all a mess sometimes and, and happiness is, is, is just a, a fleeting thing. It comes, it goes, it comes back again. Sometimes you have to wait for a while. Happiness may sometimes comes from being able to overcome the mess. So yeah, and exactly. then everybody goes through. So. Yeah, yeah. In mezzo del cammin di nostra vita mi li trovai per una selva oscura che la dritta vi era smarrita. E adesso devo leggere. Okay. Bravissimo. In case you've forgotten this little project which we began over two years ago, uh, this is a one bedroom little cottage which uh, we have been building from scratch uh, after converting it from the old ruined chicken coop.
and the part they're working on at the moment is the rooftop which is going to be a beautiful space where you can watch the sunset uh, we'll put a table and chairs up here and they're going to pave all the roof and then put a lovely balcony around the edge we have taken the design from the balcony of a little landing at the top of the stairs on the granary I know I promised you more content with Brian, but to be honest, I just wanted to savor the time that he was here. And I was thoroughly exhausted after cooking for uh, Brian and his fiance and then trying to spend as much time as I could with them without uh, sleeping as much as I normally would. Gianfranco has uh, been keeping me awake at night, but other than that, he's super happy. So please don't worry about sending me lots of uh, advice. This is just part of having a, a, a baby. Here we are preparing for Brian and Gareth's arrival. And starting to brindare. <laughs> Importante. At any moments that I, I felt like I was awake, I wanted to be present with Brian and not uh, <laughs> sticking a camera in his face. So uh, we shall have to wait for next time that he is back, but he will be back very soon, I, I hope. Echoey, here I am, still finishing this bathroom. It's taking so long, but ah, what can we do? Uh, this is when, what we have to do when we rely on the, the plumber coming from two and a half hours away. And uh, the builders are nowhere to be seen. They were meant to actually be working this week on the chicken coop. And every day I woke up and I'm ready to see them and ready to start preparing coffee for the builders. And they just didn't show up. So we'll see. But I am just doing what I can do, which is uh, painting the inside of the shower, which has to be a special, more water resistant paint. And yeah, Guido is in Florence. I didn't film me putting on the. Um, putting on more of the wax on the floor, but I did another two coats of that. I thought it was pretty boring just to see me on my hands and knees <laughs> scrubbing the floor, but uh, it's getting there now. I think I just need that final layer to give it a bit more color and almost, almost there. <laughs> Oh, the pomodori are just so warm in your hand as you're picking them, kissed by the sun. And the basilico is profumato, it's so fragrant. And the neighbor just baked some fresh sourdough bread. So the only thing to do on this hot afternoon is uh, make some bruschetta for lunch. With the basil, I try to chop it just once in one direction, not going back and forth because otherwise it will get too damaged and wilted by the blade of the knife. Allora, secondo me l'aglio, mm. allora se hai un pane fresco buonissimo sì. e ci vuoi mettere come questo che è appena stato fatto, è un peccato abbrustolirlo sì. e quindi uno potrebbe mettere la, se ci vuoi mettere l'aglio come secondo me ci va messo, mm. uno lo può schiacciare, tritare o squash it with, come si chiama, quell'aggeggino 
the the, the, the garlic press and 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 mix it with with the let's say the, the thing that you're putting on top of the bread otherwise if you could also toast the bread and and literally grattare yeah rub, 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 yeah, rub, rub the, 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 the garlic over yeah there. and that's that's what mm, we what usually do. We do no 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 this bread is too nice we to just eat it. When, when we do it, when we toast the bread, it's amazing how much flavor is imparted by the garlic clove just by rubbing it over it when it's, when it's hot. Uh, yeah, yeah. And some olive oil. Mm. A little bit of sale. Can I cut the bread? Yes. <laughs> this is the bread that this morning a neighbor baked. She has a great love for baking, and her holiday or what relaxes her is is actually baking bread. So we're very lucky. I hope one day she will teach us how, how she does it. Yeah. So this is done in a normal electric oven, but she has all the techniques to make it super, what is it, crunchy and look. What a bread. Oh, it's incredible. It's some of the, the most delicious bread I've... And it's all meal, giusto, integrale. Whole meal, yeah. Whole meal. And, and... Oh, mm, it smells so it good. And it's, look, wow, it's moisty and... Moisty? <laughs> <laughs> this is a new word. How do you say it? Yeah, moist, yeah. A little moist. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You want to do the implantation? <laughs> yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Are you sure we shouldn't toast it? I'm, it's very good when it's toasted. Or you want to just have? Well, we can always have. Let's try some without. Let's have one and one. Okay. Guido's wearing the lovely. Uh, <laughs> swaddle wrap that, that Brian and Gareth gifted Gianfranco. <laughs> Gianfranco is taking a nap after a, a tiring morning crawling around and in the pool. I'll just do it with my hands, I don't have si, a spoon. Si, si, va benissimo. Did you have some balsamic? No, would you like some? I don't know if it's in the recipe, but I like it. So, allora, cioè, as, as, metti un po' di balsamico. As everything. Chardonnay, but it's su Tirol, so it's For, north of your friends in Trentino. In Trentino. Mm -mm. And it's the best place, I think, in Italy for white wine. They are not sponsoring us, but... Neither is, neither is Peroni, but... <laughs> I drank all this with Brian. With Brian, yeah. <laughs> Balsamico, just yeah. solo un pochino, just because it. because the, the tomatoes are already naturally sweet enough, so... Just a bit? Si, si, vai, vai, vai. Don't take my tummy. <laughs> just a squish. If I were you, I would cut that piece of bread in half, because otherwise it would be too floppy and the tomato would fall off. Bravissimo. Ooh, I can't resist. Um. Tutto bene Gianfranco? Amore? Sì, sì, qua mi sta in un picchio. There you go. Va bene. Ok. Should we add a little bit of extra olive oil? Obviously. What? Right. Bread and oil is like the basic bread food for Tuscany. So, the drop. I would... Some more salt or it's... No, I added quite a lot. Ok. And now... We just say a little prayer for gratefulness for this wine. And these tomatoes. And Gianfranchino, have a sip. <laughs> As when Gianfranchino, he drinks and he looks away. <laughs> Which is yours? Whichever, my love. Mm. Mm. Four ingredients. They're all from here. Yeah. So the bread, the bread has been done this morning. Tomatoes come from that pot. 
olive oil comes from that tree and the basil comes from in the corner of the courtyard so and, and the garlic is from a gisto it's the gisto's one see really so see? this is really salt yeah the salt. we didn't produce the salt <laughs> <laughs> uh. literally 90 percent is not kilometer zero it's within <laughs> yeah. 50 meters um, in so. fact i'm gonna toast mine i think um. And then you get the crunch as well. Mm. Are you <laughs> mm. This reminds me of when we were in Sicily, ti ricordi quando mm. ho fatto la bruschetta when we were staying on the beach there? Bruschetta, no bruschetta. Exactly. No, I didn't say that, no? No, 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 no. I'm just saying it's very difficult because S C is sh. C H is k. So S S C H is bruschetta. Mm. It's very difficult. For me, this is the best bruschetta. With the now, I've just grilled some of the bread, and it has that sort of smokiness. And then we add the sweet pomodori and basil. Ah, you're gonna put the the, the garlic yeah, on top. What you simply do. This was wonderful. But I would cut it in half because then you get that sort of it went, no 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 excuse me the the, the clove of garlic because then you break open the skin and you get you, get you, more you, juices. You, yes, this is now nice and hot and, and, and hot and. Uh, uh, oh yeah, rough. Rough. So you just yeah, you see? perfect. It just goes in. It's nice and jar. So half of the. <laughs> Half of the garlic is already in the bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's all the juices are going in. And I'm burning my bread. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. This is mine. I'll, I'll do mine. <laughs> Guido's now moved on from bruschetta to. This is the next level. So <laughs> we were wanting to have just a light lunch, but I remember that I bought. A very big piece of gorgonzola and this salame. And this is a salame di of, of wild boar or? No, but it's called maiale and basta. Ah. L'ho comprata al supermercato l'altro giorno e sembrava molto buono. E Toscana sui salumi si sbaglia poco, come in tutta Italia, però insomma in Toscana siamo molto fieri dei nostri salumi. Just so you know, if if you Gianfranco, he's safe and playing. He's not. Uh, yeah, no. This, these are squeaks of happiness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're not neglecting our child in favor of gor of, of gorgonzola. Sì, amore. Ti vedo. I see you. Nano. La. Bada qua. Bread is still hot so it will melt partially now this is too much but whatever i'll do it Boop. Mm -hmm. hello mm. Mm. and for dessert i made these olive oil oat and dark chocolate cookies which are so soft and fudgy inside they're just Delicious! Mm. Would you like to update us on the orto? Yeah. No. With little Gianfranchino in the morning when it's cool, we come and do gardening. So, what did I do with him? Uh, first of all, the grass has been cut. And here we have six plants of tomatoes. They should be cherry tomatoes, I hope so. And I've built all the structure because they were starting to crawl down and that's not good for tomatoes. Looks beautiful, Amore. Yeah. With the bamboo from the down the hill. Yeah, exactly. Then here we have three plants of cucumbers. And then I put all the grass of the lawn here in order to help 
help to keep the moist because it's very hot and if the soil is just free it gets dry immediately and it's a waste of water. Then we go on this other side. <laughs> I found these at the local <laughs> ferramenta, whatever. Havuesto, yeah. yeah. Co Cooperativa Agricola, uh -huh. And this is natural Viagra. <laughs> <That's the laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't even see that. It's, it's Do we need natural Viagra? <laughs> I don't know. Why? I look, and it, these are uh, some pepperoncini. Vedi? Oh, da, wow. Da mattina a fatti. Ah. Da quando se l'ho comprati, l'ho lasciati nel vaso perché non, non ho avuto mai tempo di piantarli. Here we have some salad. That we, it's not happy, but... Well, yeah, but we've eaten all the last of the salad. It was so delicious. Yeah, yeah. And, it's so easy to eat healthy in summer. We've been just been living on salads every day. And look at the difference. About four weeks later, the pomodori have grown so high, as have the uh, cucumbers, which are attached. Uh, Guido has attached them to the olive trees so that they don't uh, fall down the hill. And also on the other side, our Viagra chili and the lettuce and all the other vegetables are just thriving. Okay, so the builders have gone home. This is the final result after a week of work. And look, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's gonna be so wonderful when it's finished. Look at that. Ah. It might not look like anything to you, but this is, ah, oh, this is such, such a lot of progress. And look at that, it's gonna be so beautiful sitting up here, watching the sunset, because the sunset's over there. And uh, obviously all of this concrete here is going to be paved as well, so that you can, it can be a lovely big table up here. And uh, the idea is that we are copying the original balcony of the granary, which is up here. And you see, they, they tried to look at how they've done it, but they did, used different bricks. So uh, I think they've done quite a great job, really. It's so, it's so beautiful. And it's, uh, the most important thing is that it will tie in with the existing buildings that have been here for so many years. Oh, lovely. And long way still to go, but obviously they will have to fill in all the the gap between the the the, the house and the and the land here so that you can just walk right across and uh, and then we will do lots of landscaping to make some nice um, flowers and things around here and and this is going to be such a special spot <sighs> but 
We still have a long way to go. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, then do give it a like and do consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the little bell. Thank you so much to my patrons and I will see you all next episode. A la próxima.